Hi again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. In this video, I want to do a Dahlia unboxing for you guys. Recently, I have been receiving boxes of all of the new Dahlia tuber varieties that I ordered for this year to use in my cut flower garden. So I thought now that I am almost past my average last frost date, this would be the perfect time to do this video to share with you guys what new varieties that I am growing for this year. Um, now before I go through the different ones that I have received, I also want to mention I do have about 50 to 60 Dahlia tubers in storage that I stored over the winter from last year. I recently checked on them. They all look really good. Um, I had to throw just a couple away that did not store well. They were getting a little mushy, but I would say probably 95% of them so far look really good. So um, when I actually do unwrap those and I'm planting everything in the garden, I will make sure to do a video on that. Um, but I am really excited to have all of those plus all of these new varieties for 2022. So this year I ordered Dahlia tubers from I think five different companies. Um, I think I have one small order that is still out there that has not been received yet, but I have received most of the new Dahlia tubers that I ordered. So I wanted to go ahead and share these with you. Most of these are single tubers that I ordered. Um, I like to do that because one, it's a little more economical and two, Dahlia tubers multiply so well over the growing season that next year from one plant, I may end up with five plants of that variety. So by ordering one tuber, it's a really good way to be able to increase my stock of that Dahlia variety for the coming years. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into these varieties. So the first box that this one I actually have open, this is from the Flower Hat, um, which is located in Bozeman, Montana. And I ordered just, I think, four tubers from this company. Yes, so I ordered four tubers, so four different varieties. And these all came packaged really nicely in one little Ziploc bag in some soil. I can already see some growth coming off of a couple of the tubers. I ordered from the Flower Hat last year and the tubers that I got from them were great. And so I wanted to order from them again. And the four varieties that I got from the Flower Hat were Brown Sugar, Miss Amara, which I am super excited about that one. Um, that color is going to be, I think, just amazing for fall. I got Night Silence, and then Seniors Hope. Seniors Hope was one that I had ordered from a company last year. It did not grow very well, so I really wanted to try it again because just by the picture, I think it looks so beautiful. So that is the fourth one that I got from the Flower Hat. So it looks like the next two boxes that I have are both from Swan Island Dahlias, which is a company that is in Oregon. I always get their catalogs, but I do not think that I ordered from them last year. Okay, looks like these come with a nice growing guide, which is great. And a full catalog, which of course I'm gonna have to save and look through. I'll just set these off to the side. And then it looks like in this box, Looks like I ordered eight different varieties in this order, and then I got one free gift. Swan Island always does that. So if you place an order of a certain amount, they always let you pick a Dahlia tuber for free, which is also really fun, of course. These are packaged very similarly to the flower hat, where they're stapled in a plastic bag in garden soil. And I also can see roots and growth coming off of these dahlias. I am so excited to get my dahlia tubers in the ground this year. Now, if you watched any of my videos from last year, um, you saw the big pergola build project and some of the infrastructure things that we were doing in the garden. And I was behind on getting that project done. And so I would say two thirds of my dahlias, I did not even get planted till mid July last year, which was super late. So this year, I really would love to get all of my dahlia tubers in the ground by the end of May, so I will have a lot of flowers for most of the summer. Okay, so the varieties in this bag, and there again are just one tuber of each. I have Diva, 
Touche, Maddie Boo, Elijah Mason, Black Satin, Amber Queen, which was another one that I was really excited about um, for a fall color, Ice Tea, Sunkissed, and then the free gift I got was Dazzle Me. So Swan Island also has really economical prices um, compared to some of the other small growers. I love to support the small farms and the small farms a lot of times will have some more unique varieties that I am willing to pay a little more for. This year I also tried to really pay attention when I was ordering to the details of the dahlia plant. I wanted to make sure that the actual dahlia plant was nice and tall so that the stems on my flowers were nice and long. Last year I didn't pay attention to that very good and I had a few plants that were very short, um, more made for landscaping, so they did not make good cut flowers. I also paid attention to if they said um, that the plants were prolific bloomers because that means that they will just keep blooming and blooming and blooming and producing a lot of stems throughout the whole season. So I tried to concentrate on those types of varieties this year so that I knew that I would get more blooms per square foot in my garden. Okay, I'm gonna open this second box from Swan Island. I think I placed one order while I was on a vacation. Then I kept looking at dahlias and then I had to place another order because I decided I wanted more. I'm sure that happens to a lot of you guys. All right, so it looks like I have about the same number of tubers in this order. So I have two tubers of Little Scotty, which if I remember right is a yellow one. I have another one of Amber Queen. I have Frank Holmes, Irish Glow, another Iced Tea, Razzmatazz, and then the free one that I got with this order was Gets Crazy. Okay, so this next order is from a flower farmer called the Farmhouse Flower Farm, and she is, she is in Washington. I follow her account on Instagram. She has the most beautiful images, and it looks like the most beautiful garden, and the variety of dahlia tubers that she offered on her dahlia sale was absolutely amazing. Um, a lot of the more unique varieties, um, to me anyway, and let me tell you, I got on her website right when all of the dahlias said they were going on sale. It was like a 10 or 11 a.m. Um, sale when it went live on a Saturday morning. I was in my car driving um, actually to a convention that I was going to, and I stopped in a town just so I could get on my phone and place this order. I did not get all I wanted because her dahlia tubers sold out so fast, but I did end up getting about half the tubers from her that I wanted. And then the other varieties that I really was interested in, those are the ones I ended up getting from the flower hat because his sale went live the next week. So the ones that I got from Farmhouse were two of Lark's Ebby. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Really beautiful dahlia. I got one of Caitlin's Joy. I got one of Foxy Lady, and then I got one of Ginger Willow, which I think looks so unique. This one I think will also be very striking for fall bouquets. That fall and late summer color um, really pair well with sunflowers. Looks like she's got a nice little growing guide in here too. And she packages hers all separate, all labeled, in a vermiculite. Those look great. And I can see growth on those too. These are all looking fantastic so far. Okay, one more box for this unboxing. This is a heavy one and this is from a company called Longfield Gardens. Now I ordered from them last year, I ordered a lot of tubers. Um, these do not come as single tubers, these actually come as clumps of tubers. Uh, which is good because then you get more tubers. You could actually divide them if you want to for more plants. 
Last year, I think I just planted the clumps by themselves. Now, one of the things when you order clumps of dahlia tubers is there is a risk that some of them will be broken. Um, I almost always have some broken necks on my tubers when I get the clumps in the mail, um, but that's the way some companies sell them, and then you do end up getting more tubers that way. So Longfield Gardens is not a company that um, you have to have a wholesale account or a business tax ID to order from, but they tend to have closer to wholesale prices from what I have seen. Okay, they also have a growing and spring planting guide and they're packaged in plastic with soil. So you can see this is a much bigger bag because there's clumps in there. And now Longfield Gardens, they also sell their dahlia tubers in sets of three. So if you want to order from them, you can't just get one. You have to get a set of three, which for me was totally fine. All right, so the varieties that I have in this box, which again are all sets of three. So I have three of Boom Boom Yellow. I have three of Arabian Night three of Rip City, three of Joey Morella, three of Fur Elise, then I have three of the Ball Dahlia Marn or Marn, it's M-A-A-R-N, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and then I got two sets of three, so I got six Dahlia Tubers um, total for Cornell, which Cornell is one that I did grow last year. There's Cornell and Cornell Bronze, which are both really popular. Um, they're the same size ball dahlia, and they are prolific bloomers. And so um, that was a color I really enjoyed last year, so I made sure to get six more of those. And I do have some of the Cornell Bronze in storage that I know kept well um, over the winter. Okay, so that is going to do it for this unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new varieties of dahlias that I'm going to be growing this year. And again, um, towards the end of the month or towards the first of June, when I get ready to plant all of my dahlia tubers in the garden, I will make sure to do a video for you guys on how exactly I plant them, um, how I space them and amend the soil. And then I also will be staking my dahlias this year. I'm planting them in a little bit different location in a couple spots in my garden. And I definitely want to be able to um, kind of stake them and corral them so that they grow up nice and straight and tall. So I will make sure to do videos on all of that when it is time. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon.